What's up guys, Corvus95 here, and welcome to episode 85 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Battle series. So we've had two very contrasting episodes on episodes 83 and 84. 83, 3 wins. 84, 3 losses. So I have to see what happens today. It's going to be with Battle Number 1, a far-fetched against my Gudra. Well, I don't have the best move set. But let's go for the Dragon Tail. I have a Salt Vest Gudra, so it has an insane amount of um, special defense. Farfetched, however, is likely to be physically offensive. Which means I may want to switch out into Rotom. Let's do that, let's switch out in the Rotom. Goes on to a Bastiodon. Let's go straight away for... Do I Volt switch out into Heatran? He's going for a Rock type move, isn't he? Realistically. Yeah, let's Volt switch. Pop his balloon and go out in the heat run. Goes for the rock blast, pops my balloon. Now we can get off a earth power, which should kill. He's not that specially defensive, and it's four times super effective. Protect. Now we'll go for the Fire Blast. Entirely because he may switch in far fetched here. Switches in a Yuxi. We burn it, which is always handy, and we'll go for the Stealth Rocks here. I don't know if Yuxi packs Focus Blast very often, or, but we've got with Stealth Rocks up now. I do have to switch, and I think going out into Shedinja is a good play here. Let's go for the Sword Stance, hoping this Yuxi doesn't have Toxic. It has knockoff, however. And I don't have the stupid Shadow Sneak. That's annoying. Okay. Well, let's let Shudinja go down. Should have just attacked. Shouldn't have tried to set up. Didn't think he would have knockoff, however. Let's go out into Septile. Go for the Mega Evolved Dragon Pulse. A mixed Mega Septile. I don't think I've ever seen that. Take out the Yuxi. Now, any Focus Sashes he has are completely useless. Although Pokemon on random balls rarely have Focus Sash. Even if it would help them, they usually have like Life Orb or something like that. A Vanillix. I don't trust Septile's ability to one shot a Vanillix. So let's go in the Heat Drown. Because neither of his Pokemon threaten it. Goes for automa automatize. Let's go for the fire blast. He has hidden power fighting? That must be fighting. There's no way that could be ground, because ground would one shot me. Hmm. 
his next Pokemon is going to be. Let's have a look. A Garchomp. That obviously outspeeds me. And. I think I have to go for the safe switch here. Yeah. Do I try that? I'm going to risk it. Hope he goes for the EQ. Actually, why would he? Oh, let's just go Earth Power. So he wastes a Draco to do 4% damage to a Heatran. Which means that... My... Well, Sceptile outspeeds, so... Then let's go Sceptile. Let's go for the Dragon Pulse. It's mega Garchomp. Dragon Pulse almost kills. Outrage will destroy my life. Mega Sceptile goes down, which really sucks. And Rotom can't really do anything to it. I think I may have just lost the game. Let's bring our Rotom. Let's go for the Willow. We can take that. And now... I think we just have to stay in and go for the Volt Switch. So then the Garchomp will go down. It's not the optimum play, but it saves either of our dragons from getting damaged. Because even though it's burn damage, even though it would be burn damage, it would still probably do like, what, probably like 40%, 50%. Let's go for an T ball. Actually, let's go for a willow. So it doesn't kill. And now I can go for Thunderbolt. There's a pain split to bear play. Pain split to bear play, yeah. Goes for the toxic, misses the toxic. And now a Thunderbolt should take him out. You have to remember that all the fossils are rock, not ground. I know my one of my friends gets that confused a lot. Let's go for the pain split. As he puts me to sleep. I think, however, it's pretty safe to try and willow him. Because I don't think Tangrowth usually packs any setup. It was only far fetched. This will pack setup, however. Which means I have to go Thunderbolt. He was expecting the switch, I think. Rotom wakes up, gets the Thunderbolt off, takes out Farfetch'd, and they forfeit. Good game to my opponent. I'll just hand over the GG. And yeah, so that's going to be the end of ball number one. At least we've got one victory in this episode. And in the last episode. Now, from the last battle, we know these can have hidden power fire. Let's go out into Tornado. I think it's too risky staying in with the possibility of hidden power fire. Go for sub. That's annoying. I think I go acrobatics. No, I don't. I go heat wave, then acrobatics. Ooh, it's physical. Physical Outrage Mega Sceptile. Wow, I have to say I've never seen that before. 
Well, at this point, I don't know much I can do because I don't have any. I mean, I have Mega Horn, but that's not going to do much because I'm going to get out of it. I have to go Ferrothorn. And I have to go try and get my Stealth Rocks and stuff up when this Sceptel eventually goes down. Let's start getting up spikes as well. So the Sceptel can't switch in anymore. And we got two layers of spikes and stealth rocks up. That's going to do a lot of damage to a lot of things. If I can get one more layer of spikes up, then Ferrothorn has done amazingly. That's a Crobat. Let's go for the T Wave. So that Crobat is crippled now. Let's go for the Stealth Rocks. He taunts me, that's fine. Let's go out into... Not out in the Golem, that's a bit risky. No, let's go out in the Golem. I do lose Sturdy. Most likely. No, he just uses his Defog again. Let's go for the Rock Blast. I could try and call his bluff and predict his switch, but I didn't think it was worth it. I only hit two times, but he gets fully paralysed, and two more will kill. And we take out the Crobat, so his Defogger is gone, and my setup mod isn't, which is nice. And I didn't lose my Balloon or my Sturdy. What is coming in from, is this Flint? Is that his name? I think it was. I can't remember what the guy's name was. The Fire Type Elite Fall member. Pretty sure it was Flint. But isn't that Brock's dad's name in the anime? Okay, what is my opponent going to come in with? He's had two very fast mons so far, whereas I've had quite slow mons in Ferrothorn and Golem. I wonder if that's how they've sorted it. They've give with each they've given him like three very fast mons and me three very slow mons, possibly. Um a Sylveon's not the best thing to have to fight. I think Durant's the switch in here. And we'll go for the Iron Head. Or is the switch out too obvious? No, it wasn't. Iron Head takes out the Sylveon. We Life Orb. Yeah, well, Life Orb. With Hustle, so we'll have a chance of missing moves, unfortunately. But we do get that. Is it a 25% power boost? Is that the 10 or 25%? Probably 10. You lose 10 accuracy, gain 10 power. That doesn't seem really worth it though. That attack will miss every time. Calling him now. He outspeeds, which means he's choice. Which means that Golem's okay to switch in. I mean, I think Golem's okay to switch in every time on a chat off. Because they don't really pack um, any moves apart from flying, normal, and heat wave. It may have hidden power ice, I suppose. Heat wave does very little, pops the balloon, however. And this is a 3 8 scale. And it hits three times, takes out the Chatot. Golem putting in some work here, took out two Pokemon so far. Both flying types, and both with the same move. Next up for my opponent 
is going to be a Deoxys attack. Let's suck a punch. This will take him out. 100% of the time. This will take him out. Deoxys attack has like no defense whatsoever. It's the definition of a glass cannon. You hit ridiculously hard, but you just die to one hit. So what's he going to go for? Well, he's probably going superpower, is what I'm thinking. Which should one-shot me. Even though I have so much defense, it's ridiculous. It's super effective, and it's from a Deoxys attack, so it's almost certainly going to kill. Which is why I need to go for this the Sucker Punch. I mean, the Psycho Boost will also kill me, because I have no special defense. Sucker Punch takes out the Deoxys, as I said it would, and he forfeits as well. So we've got two victories today. So far, on to the final battle of today's episode. And it's taken a while to find one this time. Right, so we lead with a Wobble Fair against a Dragalge. He's special, 100% of the time. Let's go for Miracoat. Okay, he goes for that. That kind of sucks. Let's go Encore. And now let's go out into my Magna Zone. Because I can't be poisoned. You get your third layout, that's fine with me. And let's go ahead and power ice. This should two shot. Dragals just have a lot of special defense, but Magna Zone has a lot of special attack. And it's also super effective. A Regigigas. That did so little damage. That's insane how little that did. Well, let's bring out Himonlei. We do have to deal with Badly Poisoned. Which kind of sucks. We got rid of my item. Thanks. Um, let's go for the high jump kick. And I miss. And I miss, and I'm going down this turn, that's just poison jab, he quick attacks, kills me off. Yeah, we're definitely losing this battle, I'm calling it now, we've lost. There's no way we are winning this battle. We'll do this, we'll go for the T-Bolt, use the Dragalge, that does hardly anything, but we do get a power. Go for the power ice now. It's thirty percent. He does fifty percent, and he takes some life orb damage, which makes sense. So that did thirty. Whereas Thunderbolt was doing eighteen. I suppose we'll go for. They do an equal amount of damage. So let's go flash cannon. Doesn't take me out. Gets a special attack drop and goes down. So now the Scyther's coming in. Yep. And we're going to go for a Thunderbolt. He'll use quick attack, however, and take me out. Let's go for the Victim. This is very risky because he has bug tank moves. Let's go recreate. Because I wanted to hit this very hard. Wow, that is so little damage. So little. That's insane how little damage that did. Should have probably gone Bolt Stray. Um, I think at this point we'll switch out in a Wobbuffet. Gets a knockoff. 
off. And we are going to go for the counter. Okay, so he went for substitute, that sucks. Um, let's just Destiny Bond. I'm going down to Toxic, aren't I? That sucks. Um, I suppose we go out in the Raikou. I should have gone out in the Ariados an age ago because it would have got rid of the Toxic Spikes. We go for the T-Bolt. It'll break a sub. Knockoff does a decent amount, gets rid of my lefties. His slow start ends. Oh no. That's very bad. Because now he's going to start wrecking my team. And my opponent's going to win this pretty easily. All because of this Regigigas and these. Which I could have got rid of a long time ago. But I wasn't paying attention. Go for the Mega Horn. It's a 2 at KO. Return or kill. It doesn't. How does... A Regigigas not kill. It's a Regigigas. It should kill. After a slow start, it should kill every time. Fero comes out. Great. Well, I only have one move I can go for here. Let's suck a punch. Double Edge takes me out. Now it's up to a Victini on basically max health but toxic to take out my opponent's entire team. Let's go Bolt Strike. He goes double edge, does a lot of damage. Bolt strike takes him out, obviously. Now we have a Scyther to deal with, which also outspeeds me. Okay, we have a Deoxys defense to deal with. Let's go for the blue flare. It's a three hit KO, which means I kind of need to go for a V crate here. That doesn't kill. It's a surprise. He recovers, and good game to my opponent. So, we'll finish this episode 2-1, and we're back to winning ways, at least. If you've enjoyed this episode, guys, leave a like on the video, make sure to subscribe, and from me, Corvus95, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.